Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? In today's video, we're going to review Figures Wireless Cell Phone Service. I'm going to start by giving y'all my first impressions of the company as a whole. Then we'll discuss the different plans that they offer. Then I'll go into setting up service for the first time. And lastly, I'll talk about my likes and dislikes. So I think we all can agree, first impressions are everything. And with this company, it's no different. When I first logged on to the Figures website, I was really impressed by the company's homepage. I thought the layout was really good. It was easy to navigate. And they also had an interactive background, which I thought was pretty neat as well. But overall, it just had a very good first impression. It gave me a very good first impression. And it made me feel like I was on any other probably more reputable uh, phone service website. Okay, so now let's discuss the different plans that Figures Wireless has available. So let's start with the Senior Saver plan, which they have going for $15 a month. With this plan, you get unlimited talking and worldwide texting. Next, they have the Economical plan. That's for $40 a month. And with this plan, you get four gigs of 4G LTE data, unlimited worldwide texting, and unlimited talking. Next, they have their unlimited plan. This is for $60 a month. With this one, you get 4G LTE data, and it's unlimited, and then unlimited talk and unlimited worldwide texting. Then they also offer a family plan with this plan going for $120, you get four lines, and that's uh, four lines with unlimited 4G LTE data and unlimited talking and unlimited worldwide texting. And the uh, best plan that they have, or the plan that offers the most features, is their Glow Charter plan, and that's for $165 a month. And with this one, you get unlimited 4G data and unlimited worldwide calling and also unlimited worldwide texting. Okay, so now I'm gonna give y'all my personal experience setting up service with Figures Wireless. So my previous carrier, cell phone carrier, was Boost Mobile. And I already liked the cell phone that I had with that company. And I was more so interested in just trying their service out. Luckily, Figures has that option. They call it their BYOD um, service. Basically, it's bring your own device. So if you have a device with another cell phone carrier, you can just get their service, but keep your same device. So that's what I end up doing. Um, I had never made, I had never switched carriers in this way. Uh, in the past, usually I would just completely switch over and get whatever that carrier's cell phones that they had available in their lineup. So I was new to this process. First thing I did was I went on their website and applied for the BYOD uh, service. And let's see, went ahead and applied and two or three days passed and I decided to go ahead and call their 1-800 number because I was like, I didn't know um, when I would be expecting to get anything. When you do the when you do their BYOD switch, um, you're supposed to get a SIM card in the mail. So I was wanted to know when that SIM card was going to arrive. So I called the 1-800 number, and I was pleased that I was able to get in touch with a customer rep so quickly. Uh, that's one of the things that I like. They don't have a lot of options on a 1-800 number. There's like three or four maybe options. And the first one, when you touch the first one, you're getting in touch with a live caller. Um, so I ended up calling twice. The first time I called, I spoke with a lady and I was trying to get my tracking information uh, because when when I applied online I hadn't received any email or anything 
with tracking information, letting me know when I was going to receive this stuff. So she ended up giving me that. And when I went online to actually put in that number, it didn't work. So I was like, okay. So I called back again. And this time I got a second person. It was a, it was a guy this time. And I told him my situation and he said that he was going to send me a confirmation email. And five minutes after I got off the phone, he sent me a confirmation email with the same tracking number. And this time when I checked it, it worked. So I don't know what happened. Let's see. So that was on January 24th. So five days later, uh, on the 29th, my package did arrive. I got home and actually that's the odd thing about it is I got a package. I was expecting to look in my mailbox and look for a letter. I'm just thinking I'm getting a SIM card, but I got an entire package. Um, I didn't realize at the time that they had that deal going on where when you bring your device over, you're getting, um, or when you choose any plan, when you just make the switch period, they send you the um, Figures Neptune phone for free. So I got that and uh, two SIM cards. One for my current phone and one for the Figures Neptune. Setting up service. So let's talk about that. Um, I had to first go and get my phone unlocked. Like I said, I didn't realize the different things I needed to do. So I went, called Boost, got my cell phone unlocked, and then went back and called um, Figures Wireless once I got that process secured. So went ahead, called them, and again, just like the first experience I had, the customer rep was very respectful. Um, however, the entire process took about 45 minutes to an hour. I don't know if that's the norm. Uh, anybody want to comment on that? But it took 45 minutes to an hour to make this switch. So I kind of thought that was long, but maybe that's the norm. I don't know. Um, but after I did that, my phone was on and then I was ready to go. Okay, so now let's get into my likes and dislikes. So number one, I'm saying it right now. Figures Wireless has more coverage than Boost Mobile. When I first moved into this apartment that I'm in now, I had Boost Mobile. And for the first time in any apartment that I lived in, I had dead spots in this apartment. What I mean by dead spots, places that if I was on a phone call with somebody and I walked into this certain area of my apartment, two seconds later, the call drops. However, I noticed with Figures Wireless, there is no more dead spots. Um, I have coverage in my entire house, in my entire uh, apartment. So I haven't experienced any drop calls. It's been almost two months now since I made the switch. And so, yes, I'm very, very pleased with their coverage. Um, I dislike the LTE. The LTE is, is slower than uh, Boost Mobile. Again, I'm just gonna make the comparison of Boost Mobile because that's who I had previously. But so far, yes, the LTE has been slower. Um, that's just my, my experience. Could be just the area I'm in. I'm in a dating area, so maybe that plays a part, but it's slower. Also, I don't know, I can't really say that this has to do with Figures Wireless in particular, but um, I've been getting more spam calls However, like I said, I don't know if that's a figures wireless issue because I've talked to other friends and they have different cell phone carriers and they've been experiencing the same problem lately. So I don't know what's going on. Spam calls have just been increasing lately. Next thing, mm, 
This is a like. I like the ability to browse uh, the internet online while I'm still on a call. And I'm talking about not being connected to Wi-Fi. I can do this while I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. I didn't know that was a I didn't know that was a possibility when I was on Boost. I had to be on Wi-Fi or I wasn't able to browse it browse it online. And that was a feature that I did not like. There are some times when you might be speaking to somebody and you just need to get online to maybe you're trying to tell them how to get somewhere and so you want to pull it up online or whatever the case may be. I like that feature and um, Boost didn't have it, but Figures does. And uh, the last thing that I will uh, that I will point out to me this this isn't a dislike for me, but it may be a dislike for some of you guys. They don't have a Wi-Fi hotspot. As far as I understand, Figures Wireless, they don't have the option for a wireless hotspot. What I believe they do have is you have to purchase a separate device, and this is like a hotspot device. But as far as just with the phone service, they don't have it. Boost Mobile, they do have they do have that. They have a feature of that. If you go look on their plans now, um, it's at on each of their plans, it just they increase the availability of it or how much of it that you have. So that is my review of uh, Figures Wireless. As uh, I always mention, please leave comments and tell me your experience with this with this carrier if you have one. And um, that's it. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.